Hi friends, hello the world. Welcome back to this episode of Tools for Transitioning Humanitarians. And the topic that I want to talk to you today about is the topic of how to know if we're good at what we do, right? So how do we know if I'm doing a good job? Because I have been coaching several of my clients and they all come to me with this understanding or concept they have about themselves, which is I'm not good at what I do. I'm not uh, I'm not doing a good job or whatever the version of that is. And the reason why I think we should talk about in terms of what that actually means and how do we know if we're actually doing a good job or not, whatever that subjective view we have, unless we define what that is, what that keeps making us do is we keep doubting ourselves, our abilities, we keep not trusting ourselves and what we're doing and therefore dismissing what we're actually doing, how we're doing them. And then we keep searching for validation from other people or uh, confirmation from other people. And worse, even if we get that confirmation from anyone that we respect and their opinion, still not believing that's actually happening, that we are doing a good job. Because then we interpret them as, well, they're just nice. They're being nice to us. Or they just need to say this or whatever else. And we dismiss their opinions, even though we want their op opinion or confirmation to say that um, we are actually doing the good job because we're telling ourselves we can't really self-certificate, certif self-certify that we're doing a good job because that would be weird, fine. But then we search for other people's opinions as to whether we're doing the good job. And even if they do say that, that we're not accepting it, we're not recognizing, we're not taking and sinking in, we're not receiving. And therefore we just continue this loop of proving how good we are, uh, keep working outside of working hours because we want to prove that that's actually true. And if we don't work out of working hours, then we feel guilty. Um, we feel uh, we're not doing all the things we could be doing. And then that cycle continues. And the worst that I think that is happening when we keep telling ourselves that I'm not doing a good job, we don't actually improve on anything specific, right? We just keep like making the statements everywhere without actually deciding what does that mean and how am I going to improve it if that's actually true? That's the part that we're not working and therefore we're just um, diminishing our contribution. We're not valuing our uh, contribution. We're actually uh, like continuously telling ourselves how we shouldn't be trusted, how uh, our uh, what we're doing is not valuable, what we're doing does not count, and therefore we're killing our own motivation. And therefore, we don't really like what we're doing, or even if we do, then we struggle so much because we have so much judgment and doubt and second guessing all packed with it. Great. So in other words, I see that many of us are using this as a way to beat ourselves up uh, or diminish our contribution, devalue our contribution, and therefore keep searching for ways to prove how, and get more validation, more validation, and then we feel like we can't get enough because we're not feeling it, right? We're not really feeling that we're doing a good job, and that's why we keep searching for other external um ways to confirm that what we're doing is good enough. And even if we do get them, either they expire or they don't sink in. And then we just keep being in this cycle. So my dears, I think I have like illustrated the problem extensively. Now, what I would love for you to do is the following. Now that we know that keep saying this is not useful in any way whatsoever, First, we need to find out when we say to ourselves, I'm not good at what I do, what is the feeling that usually comes up? Well, how do we feel when we say that? And then we want to also know what, excuse me, excuse me. Then we want to find out what are we doing, what this feeling makes us do after we say that we're not good at what we do. And then I'm assuming it will be something like second guessing, doubting, seeking for validation, whatever things that I just described, right? And then what we want to know is the result of all of that. 
but we keep making ourselves not good at what we do. Isn't that crazy? Like, let me repeat it. We keep making ourselves not be good at what we do, or we do everything not to make our work shown, or not to really show how our contribution is, because we're so busy in the seeking validation or in the confirming that this this is true, what we're doing is good one or good enough. Therefore, we're not really recognizing our own work. We're not really feeling how good the things that we're doing because we're just busy going after the next thing, after the next opinion. Um, and therefore, we don't really sit in how much we're contributing, what are we doing, right? And what we're also not doing in that moment, possibly for most of us, is actually deciding or analyzing as to what could be done better differently next time, right? So let's say that even if we did decide that this thing we could have done better, but we didn't, then we're not sitting and looking at what could be done, how could we improve next time in this specific area and being very meticulous in terms of what exactly we need to work on to improve it instead of keep telling ourselves, well, I'm not good at this and I'm not good at that. And then just keep adding and piling and piling and then just using as an instrument to beat ourselves up, which is not useful, right? So that's why that's the first thing is to get curious as to how it makes you feel when you tell yourself that you're not good at your job. What are the things you keep doing? What are the things you're not doing that you could be doing? right? Measuring, for instance, or analyzing what could be approved next time. And then what's the outcome of all of that? Now, the reason why we do this is so that we can be aware of what our own judgment is making us to do and what our own judgment is not making us to do. The second step is we want to get curious as to why are we not valuing our own work and that would be a great question to ask yourself another one you could ask yourself is what is your criteria of what good work means because it's a very subjective judgment that we're making here but at least we may have some criteria for ourselves as to what that good means and what that bad means in quotes obviously right so what does doing a good job mean for you? And what does doing a bad job mean to you? And when it comes to bad, probably many of us could easily say, oh, this is this are the reasons why we think it's bad. But when it comes to good, somehow many of us have difficulty defining what that good is, right? So that's why getting like clear or getting um, curious as to what is your judgment of doing a good job means, and then when you also get the performance evaluation from someone else, your manager, your supervisor, right? You can also like get their opinion or their way of seeing you, their evaluation and your evaluation or your criteria. And then look at the both things together. Because what the other thing that I notice many of us are doing is that as soon as we receive the uh, manager's or supervisor's uh, evaluation, and then we see that maybe there is some wording that says you could improve on this. And then we interpret it as, you see, that means I'm not good at what I do, right? We just like pile all of one sentence. We um, make it into so many other sentences. And then we just keep saying in that, that must mean I'm not good at this. Excuse me. And that must mean this. That must mean that, whatever it is right? Instead of thinking about, okay, I think I did this job this well because of these reasons, my supervisor sees this way, then I decide, do I agree with him or her or not? If I do agree with, uh, with them, then how do I want to improve on this? If I don't, why do I think the other person might be saying this? What could be the reasons? And there might be a dialogue about it. Right? So that's why I really, um, I'm really like prone to 
getting as specific as possible as to what we mean when we say things like good or bad. We just like put around a lot of this good or bad things and then we we just assume everyone knows what it means or we assume what we mean when we say that, but then we're actually not really clear about it. So that's why, how do you know if you're doing a good job, right? Is the question that you want to ask. How do you know if you're not doing a good job? So some of the suggestions that I can give you that you can consider is, so let's say, my definition of doing a good job would be if I am doing everything I can within my powers to get to that result that I'm pursuing. That's for me doing a good job, right? So for instance, if I'm working with a client and I know that this is the goal that we're pursuing for her, for him, right? Then my job, the way I know that I'm doing a good job is I'm doing everything I can to coach her, him, to get to that result that we want to. And then the other indication for me that I'm doing a good job is going with the client to pursue, to see after a while, to analyze or evaluate whether things are going the way that we thought it would go. And if not, how can we course correct it? Right, and then measure it basically, course correct it to the to to get to the goal that um, my client wants. And the me doing a good job can have both the process oriented elements, which is how am I uh, coaching my client in the process to get to where she wants to, and then it also has the element of result, which is me doing a good job would mean that I get her to the results, right? That's me doing a good job um, definition. Now, you can also think of it for yourself is if you decided that, yes, I want to get clear as to when or how do I know that I'm actually doing a good job, what that means for me, right? You could also get curious and uh, answer your questions. Maybe uh, doing a good job could be, um, focusing on certain processes, even though there are lots of other obstacles around, but focusing on that process, focusing on that goal, on that result, right? While also taking care of yourself in the process of doing it, that all the combination could mean you are doing a good job, for instance, right? This is just um, uh, like these are the things that I'm offering for you to consider. Because as much as we want to value uh, other people's opinions about our work, uh, their uh, evaluation of our work, their uh, way of seeing how our work is, and we want to know about it, especially from people who we really respect and honor, who, whose opinion we honor, we also need to treat our own opinions in that same grade, in that same way. And as long as we don't do that, we will not be feeling that feeling of doing a good job feeling. And as long as we're not feeling that, we will never be satisfied with the evaluations of others or uh, praise from others or certifications from others because we will keep feeling like we're missing something. We will keep feeling like this is not enough. We will keep feeling like we need to go and prove some more, whatever the thing that we keep doing. And that's not a healthy place to be simply because that will keep us wanting to do more or keep worrying about whether we're doing a good job or not. And it will just hurt our capacity to do even more good job that we could be if we hadn't stalled ourselves in this place of second guessing, doubting, um, not really recognizing how we're contributing to that cause. Okay, so my dears, if you want to get clear on whether or how you're doing a good job and you want to work on this to finally get to a place where you really feel like you can recognize your contribution, your, you can uh, value your work and also deciding what to do with that contribution in maybe bigger ways, then absolutely come coach with me. I would love to coach you on this or any topics that I cover. 
Until then, have an amazing week. I'll speak to you very soon.